A sultry summer sunrise. It's the time of day when watermen head out around the Chesapeake Bay for the catch. But the waterman who runs the Dead Rise workboat, Some Beach, isn't a man. She is 31-year-old Crystal Jordan, a Chesapeake Bay water woman. I'm a water woman. <laughs> yes, I am a water woman. And I say that. <laughs> So I get up at about 4 a.m. I think the hardest part is trying to get the little guy ready. As a wife and mother with a five-year-old son aboard, Crystal does not fit the typical image of a waterman. Yes, I have to be a mom first thing in the morning. And a mom all day. I'm a mom, a boss, and yeah. <laughs> Now we're gonna go crabbing. Um, usually I'm fishing about 400 pots a day because we gotta go to work and we gotta pay the bills. Watermen are so fundamental to the state of Maryland that they're on our state seal. You see a farmer and a fisherman. We often talk about watermen as, as sort of um, the last cowboys, these uh, fiercely independent, self-reliant, he's his own boss. We don't think of women physically working out on the water, physically working on the boats, and yet for several generations, that has been the case. In the Chesapeake Bay, the work boat was mostly a man's domain. Women tended to stay on land, picking crab meat and shucking oysters, cooking meals and keeping house. But Crystal is captain of this boat, the one who decides when to go out, where to fish, who to hire for crew, and where to sell her catch. She's captain. She's got complete control of the boat. Uh, then you have your shaker, which would be Andrew. Uh, he's grabbing the pots from her, shaking them, uh, then baiting them. And then for me, I call the crabs. And then I have a small time frame before the next pot comes in. So <laughs> it's, it's constantly running. I crab springtime, you know, on the southern part of the bay. Um, and as the crabs move up, I go up. Um, I've crabbed on the eastern shore, I've crabbed on the western shore. Um, and it's been pretty steady. It's been a good spring. Um, when we're catching crabs, it's, it's a good year. I've known Crystal for a very long time, and she's she can run around anybody. She's got unlimited energy. She's happy on the boat. She keeps everybody happy. Everybody's smiling. Throughout the day, get mud slung all over my face. I enjoy it. Makes you feel like you're doing something. <laughs> Working the salty spray of the Chesapeake Bay began when Crystal was just a daddy's girl. I was probably about seven or eight years old. I would sit on the front steps, wait for dad to come up the road, and I could hear his diesel truck coming. And I said, if you can do it, I can do it. <laughs> I think I was 10 years old. I said, Dad, I'm going to shake pots. And he was like, OK, if you think you can. So we worked as a team. I would have been 19 uh, when my dad got diagnosed with brain cancer. So I started running the boat. He said, all right, you're up. The traditional working on the water, yeah, your son is taking over the boat. Um, your grandson's taking over the boat being the daughter that took over the boat. I think it's pretty cool, and I'm proud of it. In Maryland, women hold just 8.8% .8 of the more than 6,600 commercial fishing licenses issued by the state. That puts Crystal squarely in the minority. But what she's doing is nothing new. In the archives of the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum, is photographic evidence from the 1970s that women played decisive roles in Maryland's seafood economy. We're looking at a collection of photographs by a photographer, Lila Line, who was really the first person to go out and, and document women working in the water industry. I think one of my favorite series of photographs are of a woman named Patsy Higgs working out of Rock Hall. And her father had been a waterman and she learned how to work the water from him. And she's a gill netter, which is really demanding hard work. 
the, the, the caption that goes along with it. Patsy Higgs says, it's simple. I've done it mainly to please daddy. These photos show a woman named Kathleen Poole who was working out of Tillman Island. The really remarkable thing is that Kathleen Poole is quite visibly pregnant, um, trot lining for crabs. She wanted to work on the water. And I love this because it shows that even a heavily pregnant lady um, still has opportunities. Susan Briggs was a oyster diver. She talked about how hard it was, but also that she loved it. It was really oyster diving that captured her imagination, and so she decided that she wanted to try this, and so she did. These photographs are all hard evidence that women did actively work in the industry. That's great. That's a great shot. Where she's holding the baby. That's a, I, I think that's great. I mean, again, it's sort of like they're making it work. Crystal is also making life on the water work. After all of her crab pots have been emptied and her baskets are full, she hauls her catch to market. Chesapeake Seafood, can I help you? Yes, we do. We have regular, medium, large, extra large male. In my eyes, Crystal Jordan, she works the water. And I'm not going to call her a water man. <laughs> but, but, uh, you don't hear the term water woman too often. She's a, she's a tough woman. I mean, she to work the water year round. All right, there it is. Some of Crystal Jordan's crabs getting ready to steam up for a happy customer. I think she's driven to provide for her family and, and go out and do the hard work that she has to do to be able to do that. Do I know who harvests my Maryland crabs? I think it's my Maryland waterman, isn't it? Come out good. It could very well be a water woman. Why not? Now I have a little bit more of a feel for who worked for it. I'm going to enjoy it even more. If I sit down, I'm done. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to let my dog out, let him run around. Um, Say hi to my husband, see how he did today, because he crabbed also. Tomorrow, I'm going to do the whole thing all over again. What made me think I could do this? Um, it was in my blood. I worked my entire life because I wanted to be with my dad. And to spend time with my dad was to go to work. So that's what I did. I am thankful every day for how I was raised. Stream anytime, anywhere with the free PBS app.